Okay, when you start up BetAngel, um, we have to ship you uh, an unoptimized version. Basically, it will work fine. It's just it's not going to work as well as it possibly could do. And um, if you want to optimize it, this is the way to do it. So when you fire up BetAngel, there's a spanner in the middle of the screen. If you click on that spanner, um, that will bring up a whole range of different tabs here. And the one that you want to work on is the Communications tab. And the Communications tab um, determines how BetAngel interfaces with Betfair. And by using this, you can basically make BetAngel perform faster. Or you can customize it so that it performs in ways that are more beneficial to what you're attempting to do. Basically, we've given you a complete flexibility over how you can interface to Betfair. So let's explain a few of the options available to you here. Um, the key one that you want to look at first is the data requests uh, limiter. So Betfair allows us to call their servers 20 times a second. And the default when you start up BetAngel is 15. So you probably want to pop that up to 20. Now, if you exceed 20, it, um, Betfair will charge you. It doesn't necessarily mean they will charge you. There's, it's, a, it's a complicated charging mechanism here based upon the amount of commission you pay. But to make sure that you're aware of that, when you go over 20, you can see it says you will incur a charge. Um, so basically, that's the first thing that you need to be aware of, is that there is a limit of 20 calls that you can make to Betfair per second. And the sort of calls that you're going to be making are how many times you refresh, um, but also um, what uh, information you're pulling back, such as profit and loss, traded volume amounts, full market depth, and so on. So if you're trading on a ladder, you probably may want to speed up the full market depth. You could go down to five calls a second, which would be 200 milliseconds. You could do it once a second, but the information would sort of be quite slow. But you can basically see you can modify all of those elements, and that will allow you to... Um, to do that, you can select from each of these boxes. So if, if you want to get fast matched and unmatched bet data, you may want to speed that up. Or if you're working on the ladder, then you may want to speed that up. Um, so there are various aspects of things that you can do here. Now at the bottom of the screen here, you can see that there's uh, this little thing here. This is the data request counter. So you can see at the moment it's ticking away at 7 or 8. And that means that you're comfortably with inside that 20 at the moment. But if I start speeding things up, let's say we do 200 milliseconds here, 200 milliseconds here, um, 200 milliseconds there. Can you see the number is increasing? So you can see it's up to 15, 16 at the moment. So if we do full market depth at 200 milliseconds as well, you can see it's now up to 20. So um, if we now do traded volume up uh, to 200 milliseconds, you can now see it's going, oh, what's going on here? And what it's actually doing here is if, if I bring up the tooltip, uh, this will give you a better description. You can see here it's saying Betfair data request counter calls a buffering. So it's basically what we do is to make sure that you can't exceed the limit but all of your calls to Betfair still go through, we buffer the data. And you can see it's marked in red to indicate to you um, that buffering is occurring. And if it's on the edge of buffering, then it will be amber. Um, and when it's full scale buffering and things are happening all over the place, then it will turn red. So if I slow that back down again, we'll uh, pull it back into a normal zone. The effect of buffering is that when you make these calls, BetAngel will store the call, wait, a set, uh, wait however long it needs to, so that it can fit all 20 calls into one second. So you need to be aware that there's a balancing act here between um, how many calls you make, what information you need, and um, which bit is important to you. So if you're ladder trading, for example, um, you could optimize the full market depth and the traded volume, but perhaps change a couple of other things. So one of the things that we've got in here is calculate profit and loss locally. Now, if we switch on calculate profit and loss locally, that means that we don't have to make these five calls a second. So we can actually go on um, and speed up the full market depth and traded volume, and you can still see that we're at or around the um, the request counter. When it's not going amber or red, it means that there's no buffering taking place at all. So you can see we're just underneath the threshold here, so we get fast unmatched bets and match bet data, fast full market depth and fast traded volume, and we still remain underneath that limit. So what we could actually do, you can be quite clever here, you can call this 
ladder trading settings and what that will do is you can have that now as a drop down option within the settings so you can see here we've got a range of different things here I've got low bandwidth and now I've got ladder trading settings and so on so depending upon what you want to do you can switch on or off certain features get it operating really really fast and responsively um, and you can just drop or uh, make it less sensitive to certain things that perhaps you aren't so interested in so if we're not trading on the ladder you could probably slow down full market depth and um, your call data usage drops quite dramatically so there's a lot of flexibility that you can have in here and I suggest that you look at this video and other videos to do with the communication setting and understand how that uh, is likely to impact how you use BetAngel but one of the important things to take away is that the version that ships is unoptimized we have to do that we're obliged to do that um, so you can get much better performance out of it by going in and modifying and updating uh, the communication setting and then having that set up exactly the way that you want and that's how you'll get the best trading experience out of BetAngel.